Konnichiwa Mina, it's 1843 as I'm back to my Hey Jazz Revolt mod playthrough. As <coughs> a couple years ago in a game, we I had a huge victory and I took over He Jazz, all of it. I mean, not He Jazz, Naj, remember? That was a huge accomplishment right there. I can't believe that. However, I'm still in a very precarious situation because, one, very small population still. It's only 200,000 men I got. And I'm. Um, very bad resources and we also have only three provinces so if a country like a great power wanted to come in and conquer us they can do so easily and i don't know the requirements you know the minimum you need to have um to um establish a protector because i'm uncivilized so if someone wanted to do that they can just come right on and do that probably too now of course we're in good relationships almost on the verge of being sphered by the turk so if they do that they'll make great powers less likely to attack us because the Ottomans would probably have a say in it and I would like to maybe take over more of the Arabian Peninsula before the great powers get involved. But of course we have too much infamy. Not to mention it would be kind of difficult to take them over with the small population we got. It would not be easy whatsoever. Especially that's the easiest target like Abu Dubai. I mean, yeah, Abu Dubai is allied with both Yemen and Oman, which would not be easy. Although Oman's troops, most of them are down there pretty much. They had to transport them in. So Oman might actually be the better target and such. Especially since Abu Dubai has no population whatsoever. So hopefully soon we can get our next reform and um, begin West Nights. We're pretty backwards still, unfortunately, as we continue from where I last left off. So I see him losing money right now because of, um, I think we're buying the wine. No, still no wine not available yet. At least our um, research points are going up quite quickly, too. And I need to keep fixing my relationship with the great powers and such so they don't try and attack me and such. I got max relationship with the um, Turks. I need to get better relationship with everyone else. Because i played this game over the last, like, four years almost, and I've seen, like, the, um, Dodge, the British, the French, the Spanish, and I, oh, yeah, Russia, too, and America, too, in my game, try to get a piece of the Arabian Peninsula besides the Turks, so, they are, there's a lot of things you gotta worry about them taking over. Okay, we got two diplomatic points. Alright, so pause for a moment. Let's see, who's the next closest? Because they need to have a very strong relationship to prevent them from taking you over completely. Alright, still no idea. Okay, it looks like the UK is the next closest. But I probably should, like, even it out so no one or mother will have any idea that they're attacking me. Because when the relationship's high enough, they will not be able to attack you unless you lower the relationship enough. And I don't know how much it has to be in this uh, mod for it to, um, be too high for them to consider attacking. Hopefully it'll be pretty damn high, because there are some mods where you have to have the relationship... Well, actually, there are some mods... Where a relationship has to be like really, really bad, like under negative in order for the attack. Like you remember my um, GSG Vicky mod, how annoying that was, especially near the end of the game. But there are also games where you have to have where um the relationship thing has to be like really high before you can um be really high and stuff before you can attack them too. So hopefully this is gonna be one of those mods where you need to have a very, 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 very negative relationship with me in order to um take over me and such. Would be nice if I could get a um two more states that way I can guarantee myself from avoiding conquest and such too our literacy is going up a point almost every um two and a half months now which is pretty good and of course it would be nice if uh, <coughs> would be nice if um could get enough for research points soon I think I got okay 6,000 this is the cheapest I believe oh that's close but I would want imported weapons and then it would be nice if we can um, fix up our brigade support. That way we can start replacing our um, irregulars with infantry and such. So much crap to do. As this country is so backward and stuff. We're, I think we're at 0%. Um, yep, yeah, 0% westernization. And we're already almost 10 years into the game. So, wow. We got a long way to go still. Oh, boy. Of course, don't really got much targets to attack either. It's pretty bad when the Arabian Peninsula is so underpopulated. I think I, I think I looked it up before because I did one time did a game as Arabia at the very beginning of the game, making Arabia appear by force. I think this whole entire area only has like 500,000 people, in to well, men in total, so that's still pretty small. But at least that's something usable on like this 200,000, which I can't use that for anything. Would be nice if I can um get that um farming um I mean the land reform too to make the um economy much better. Hey, I see we're producing canned food. Hey, here we go. <coughs> producing a couple things. I think I got a whole bunch of things back stocked, too. Alright, so... Oh, that's right. I was still trying to buy all the wine stuff, and unfortunately it hasn't happened yet. Okay. 
At least we're producing it for now, but I'm sure eventually it's going to disappear as they go again. Well, our literacy is going up three points already. That's pretty damn good. That's the one benefit in um very small populations. Like literacy and stuff, they go up significantly quicker when you have smaller populations. So our research points would go up a lot faster, thankfully. Because our cause, um, research points mean um, literacy increases. It's going up like 0.2% already. Actually, I think almost 0.3% already. All right, now. Well, we were making some money, but not anymore. Let's raise you up to 55%. Oh, boy. I wish I could get our diplomat point to fix my relationship with the great powers. But, of course, since we're uncivilized, it takes a long-ass time. As in my God, we're losing a whole bunch of money now. Definitely not good. But at the same time, now thankfully, remember, when you're uncivilized, you can't go into bankruptcy or anything, but you still want to keep making money, though, to at least buy, like, upgrades like the naval bases, forts, and railroads when I unlock them and build factories. There we go, made some money. Maybe a <coughs> tariff increase that. There it goes again. Probably from when I was buying some stuff with the tariff being affected and all. Oh, we lost all, I think we lost all the wine we had before. Christ. Hope we didn't sell it off or anything. As we're getting close to October. Research points go up like um, three, me two points already. That's really good. As we're getting close to 6,800 for our next reform. Oh, man. My throat is coming. Hey, here we go. Build This time we'll build an admiral in case when we build a navy soon. If I could build six ships, we just don't have the economy to support them yet. been a very slow game. Here we go, the reform, but I think I want to get this instead. Although we got a long time to wait. Or land reform, too. 86. 85. Okay, that one's cheaper, but of course, all military reforms are significantly quicker. But that land reform and the education reform desperately needed them. But we also need that, um, um, that one reform to get, um, infantry unlock, because they have major bonuses over irregulars. Alright. Fix relation now with the British. Yep, I still gotta do everyone around here so I don't have to worry about them attacking me and such. And I see I'm still friendly with the Turks. I wonder why they haven't steered me yet. Let's speak, let's see, he jazz. Oh, oh, it's going back and forth right there. But they're almost there. If they get 100 points, they can finally steer us, which of course would be terrible for our economy since we couldn't do tariff, but it will also protect us too at the same time. And that's what I do need right now, a lot of protection so the great powers in the world don't try to attack me. But of course the Turks will also use that to probably we can, um, great relationship with the great powers and such, so they can try and take me over too, which is not good, since they can easily conquer us, since we have less than three states, and they can probably do establish protector on us as well. Ugh, Christ, got a lot of crap to worry about, as we are now in 14, I mean, 1844, as that will end the episode off here, as our leader, um, um, literacy went up ha almost a whole point in this episode, and getting closer to unlocking foreign weapons, so, John, until then,